Good morning, people. Um, it is pretty much the end of lambing time. We've got four left to lamb. So I thought, finally, I can get back on, do a bit more of a proper update on what's going on in the world, on a proper video, just put it all together. And um, yeah, give you all a glimpse. I don't know why I decided to set up a YouTube channel at the busiest time of year, it was a good idea, but at least we've managed to do it in some sort. The competitions have gone so well, um, I couldn't have hoped for anything better. So I'm gonna announce the winner of the Muck Together family competition in this video as well. And we'll also announce to do another competition because everyone seems to want some more. So first big piece of news for you, so exciting for me um, is, we have rented another 30 acres of land which means expansion time i'm so excited this is something that i've wanted to do for since i started farming since i started farming like six years ago i wanted to do this i have wanted more and more sheep i've wanted more and more land but also i've wanted to make sure that that is gonna be successful so I made a decision that I wouldn't just rush in to kind of getting loads and loads of sheep um, and then two years down the line it fails, I run out of money, blah blah blah. So I spent the last six years building up knowledge, building up experience, seeing different sheep systems in place, working in the different sheep systems, highland, lowland, but they're all little bits that I can now put together myself to create a system that I think is going to work for me, work for my sheep, work for my area in Cumbria that I live in. Um, so yeah, it's so exciting to say that I am now sat in one of our fields. It is amazing. It is 18 acres, this field of pure beauty. my sheep on here this is the OG flock the original flock um, that I've always had so near enough 100 sheep most of them are down here now and then even more exciting news that I'm going to take you to in two seconds follow me excuse the state of my car still in lemon time mode <laughs> So, as I mentioned before very briefly we've taken on another 30 acres so that all together is a whopping amount for me that means I can almost double the flock that I have now which is so exciting so of course we've still got another heap of acres to go and see um, and there there's a surprise acres is the new part of the flock which is so exciting um basically yeah. on this block here we have 12 shearling mules with twins at foot and we have 12 mule hogs with twins at foot as well so yeah the flock is expanding ah! and it is so amazing it's finally happening it's so amazing that it's happening with Danny as well, and he's on board with it. Mum and Dad are on board with it. It's a team effort. I cannot stress to you like how long I've waited for this. It was just waiting for the right time. It was waiting for the right land. It was waiting for the right opportunity to come along. And I think personally, this is it. This land is three miles away from home. It's really, really good land um, compared to land we've taken before and yeah hopefully it's going to be some more longer term lets as well not just kind of um yearly or summer or winter so it is so exciting <laughs> i mean this field i absolutely personally love it's got a beautiful back that runs through it absolutely stunning the and, um, and juicy to the girls so they've actually intermingled themselves quite well here i thought they were going to um stays two separate flocks as we got them from two different farms so i've kept these away from my um the og flock for now just because i want to make sure they're not bringing anything onto um the farm into the flock yeah, so. oh they're amazing so these are all texel lambs at foot um yeah i'm just so happy keep saying it so happy 
outside with my cup of tea. So happy. It's time to take a risk, but it's taking a calculated risk at the same time. So go for your dreams, make sure you do what you love, but also take your head with you at the same time. Risk it for a biscuit, but be sensible. Don't ruin your life doing something you love for it then to turn into rubbish because you didn't spend time to figure it all out how it's gonna work and how it's gonna long-term stay successful. Yeah. So life is starting to slow down. Now lama time's over, but um, at the same time, life is completely suddenly speeding up in other ways. The land and buying new sheep has been one of those ways, but also yeah. so many other amazing things going on the pipeline. Some of which I can share with you, some of which I can't share with you and I'm bursting inside wanting to share with you. Um, but one thing I can tell you is that this Sunday, the 3rd of May, I will be appearing on Country File again for the second time, which is so exciting. I've been doing a bit of self-filming. Um, so it's gonna be really exciting. Danny is gonna be on there briefly too. Um, obviously it was all self-recorded um, due to isolation. Uh, and lockdown so yeah it was a, it was quite interesting for me to get it all right and to follow the script and get the dynamics right and the angles and the shots but yeah it was a really good learning curve so that's really exciting so that's one thing I can definitely tell you about exciting. and apart from that zip zip in my mouth on everything else and now we're going to talk about the mucking to get that competition the videos that were sent oh my word, they were heartwarming. They absolutely melted my heart. Oh my I had tears like, filling up my eyes when I was watching it because like, lockdown is so hard. It's so hard for so many people. Yeah. It's put a lot of added stresses on everyone's life. Um, and to see families really come together in the way that they are, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, it was really, really hard to actually choose the winner in the end. Um, I went down to two. Muck Boots also helped with this for the final decision. But the family that we have decided to go for in the end, and I please hope that I get this right. The entry came from Anne Mayor Chapman, and I hope that's right. So the Mayor Chapman family, congratulations. You're gonna get yourself four new pairs of muck boots for your family. family. Um, they had a video of three generations working on the farm together. Um, doing all sorts of jobs, really helping each other, and yeah, it was brilliant. family completely grasped what this video is going to be about. It was going to be about family, it was going to be how we're helping each other, how they're working together to get things done. Yeah, these guys were amazing. So yeah, three generations, all on one farm, all working together. Um, it was brilliant. So congratulations, guys. I'm going to send you an email. Um, we'll get in touch with you, and our muck will get in touch with you, and you can pick your wellies. And with that competition over, I think it's time that I announce the next competition. Um, I want you to draw a picture or a portrait of an animal. It can be a pet, it could be a family member's pet, it could be a farm animal. But I want a really nice close-up portrait of the animal. Um, because the winner this time will receive their own portrait of an animal of whatever they want. So whether it be a pet, an animal on your farm, just an animal that you love outside. We have got the amazing Jess Pritchard, who is a multi-award winning artist, who is so kindly dedicated this prize for you. It's amazing. It's worth literally up to £450. It's gonna come framed and personalized just for you. I cannot get over how good she is. I'm gonna put some of the examples of her art here. Have a look, she's amazing. So what you're gonna do, like I said, draw a portrait of an animal you love, whether it be a pet, whether it not be a pet, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, Friday the 8th of May closes at midnight. Send it in and as usual, we'll have the video out within the next couple of days after that. Good luck guys, can't wait to see them. Congratulations again to the Mayor Chapman family that won the Muck Boots competition. Amazing, we'll see you soon.